You know, if there's one thing that the British people dislike more than anything, much all else, it's a hypocrite. And look, I must preface this by saying I don't agree with people spying on fellow diners and, and you know, dobbing people in for a breach of the COVID rules at a restaurant, no matter how hypocritical the high-profile broadcaster actually turns out and happens to be. It's wrong, and I think it's sad that what these rules have actually reduced were to. You know, we've become almost sort of Stasi-esque in our naming and shaming. But it's perhaps a lesson for the hypocritical, sanctimonious and screeching broadcasters at Sky News to learn. Um, the point I'm making uh, the, the point, the is point that you're everybody making, at home the point you're is screaming is... at the telly yeah. saying it's one rule for us and it's one rule for them. And, and you're, you're falling into that trap. How can you even countenance at the moment staying on and not resigning? This morning, Kay Burley was supposed to be front and centre on her eponymously named Sky News show. She was replaced by the Sky News uh, anchor Sarah Hewson from Coventry Hospital, where they had the first vaccines instead. And this, of course, comes after Guido broke the news last night that the Sky anchor had breached social distancing rules at a Swish 60th birthday bash, which isn't, by the way, until the 17th of December, so she must be planning on having quite a few parties in between now and then. But putting that to one side, she'd booked two tables for a group of ten, including with the equally as hypocritical and screechy Beth Rigby, if not more so. She stopped by another restaurant before the curfew until a smaller group went to back to her pad for an after party. Now, she's apologised on social media for one breach of the rules, saying that she went into the second restaurant as she needed to spend a penny. I'm not sure that's going to hold water, Kay, really. And I'd, you know, I'd like her to, to come on a reason and I can ask her how about... How does she expect the public to respond? Now they know it's one rule for Sky News broadcasters and quite another for everybody else. You know, she could be on the receiving end for once of her puerile line of questioning that patronises and condescends the British public by assuming that upon seeing the likes of Dominic Cummins head to Barnard Castle, head to Durham to seek childcare arrangements, everyone will suddenly be driven to break the rules and regulations around Covid. I assume now they've seen Cabe early break the rule of six, which only applies to groups outside, by the way, and then they'll book themselves another table alongside of a group of six that she reckons her actions mean everyone else will copy her and break the rules themselves. Or do Sky News presenters, because of their key worker status, have some form of special dispensation to go out on the pace. They clearly decided Beth Rigby and Kay Burley, Screechy McScreecherson, have decided that the rules that they are staunch defenders of two minutes ago don't apply to them. They can shout at others for breaking the rules, but they do not apply to them. And look, folks, right? As you well know, I do not like the rules themselves. We can argue about how daft and ineffective the lockdowns are and uh, how daft and ineffective the, the, the rules ultimately are. But this broadcaster, both Burley, these broadcasters, both Burley and Rigby, have hounded politicians and their advisers about it being one rule for them and another for everybody else. You'd think, folks, you would think that they would both be a little more careful about being seen to practice what they screech. I'm Darren Grimes for Reason UK. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Are we turning into a Stasi state or are these two hypocrites?